So today we're going to install the BT45 toy, the Toyota Bluetooth adapter from USA Spec. We got this handy kit of levers and stuff for like 10 bucks. This is very important to have these. <laughs> when you're 16 years old and you're destroying your vehicle with screwdrivers and stuff. <laughs> to to <laughs> totally ruin it forever. All we need is some of these tools, pry tools, and a 10 millimeter socket. So uh, some plugs in the back of the radio that we have to pull, some retaining clips, and four 10 millimeter bolts. So we got our 10 millimeter driver, and now we're gonna start getting this going. With that. Open that up. Oh, we'll see what's inside this thing, what you get. People love the opening. Oh. So inside here we have our main adapter. It's the microphone. We're not going to do that. We're only going to use this for the music capabilities. And I'm going to use the native Bluetooth for the phone. You can dual purpose them. So I also wanted to show you guys how the Bluetooth connects to the phone um, when you don't use the BT for your phone capability. So a lot of times this will connect automatically, but sometimes I have to manually do it. So the BT45 toy is the Bluetooth for music and you can click the gear this is a Samsung s3 I know it's similar on other phones and you're just gonna click the media audio um, a lot of phones once you set this up it'll just automatically go to media audio only and it won't do the call audio so you can choose not to do that one and then if I go back here this one that says Land Cruiser that is the factory Bluetooth and since that doesn't have audio music capabilities it just has call audio um, you connect that one and then both those channels should connect and like I said if they don't for some reason then you can just come in here and connect them manually and it only takes a second so this is a little box so one thing I know is these things have dip switches on them um, and depending on the vehicle that you're put it in will depend on the dip switch position so if we open up this instruction book instructions <laughs> yeah I love it. Like on my other videos, I usually throw those away, <laughs> right? But this is, uh, we need this. So this is for a bunch of different Lexuses and Toyotas. So we're doing a specific one. So we need to go in here and find our... Land Cruiser. Okay, that's vehicle compatibility. All right, let's keep going. Dip switch settings, the different things. Um, in ours, we're going to be doing DVD because we're <coughs> doing the DVD changer. So these are the different um, things that you could be picking in the front of your car. Um, I know we're gonna be doing DVD, so it's on, off, on, on. So we need to have number two in the off position, which is up. Your fingers are too fat for that work. So we had a hard time finding our double-sided tape, but we just went and bought some. So that's what we're gonna, permanent mounting tape. That's pretty serious. But that's what we're gonna use. That's the kind of stuff I've used before. Um, I used in my Acura over there to mount the very same device, but a slightly different model for Acuras. We'll stick some of that on the back and we'll mount it up. All right, let's get this. Let me see the top of it. So that's just the guide. So there's basically a clip here and here, and then a couple on the sides. If it makes you, I think the wider one is a little better. That one? Yeah. Here, let me do it, and that way you won't feel bad if you... If it snaps, it's on the... There you go. You just kind of go right up in here, you think? I wouldn't pull. Ouch. Yeah, I'm glad you're doing that. Yeah, that way it breaks. There we go. All right. We got these two guys out. Pretty simple. Four 10 millimeter nuts. Oh, my God. 
So now, okay, it looks like, it looks like there's a clip down here. I'm wondering if this right down here is a little, some kind of retaining clip. What are they showing the PDF? Did we get that? We did. We got it. <laughs> it just so it looks. Oh, okay. And these clips just slide in. They just hold it snugly. Now on the top. The yellow, yeah. Yellow. Ends so these. On. So these two little clips. Um, they're they're just kind of providing some pressure to hold it in there, but not really too big of a deal. So that actually worked out pretty good. So some kind of clips see. on the top, but it looks like. What direction it come? It looks like they're kind of pressuring up a little. So it's almost like. Here it comes, yeah. See how it can, see how it can't yeah, so there's Yeah, so you can see there's four clips right across the top, and they're really just these plastic bushings that are providing just a little pressure. So that was pretty yeah. easy to pop out. So you don't have to worry about those breaking. Yeah. This guy's in the way. Tilt it back like that. Sorry. See what I'm saying? Only one scratch. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> Sorry. No one will no one will notice. Um, okay. That's the risk you take when you don't pay for your labor. And what I do not know right now is Okay, can you hold that real quick? And it looks like we have one, two, three plugs there. Flip it on. Flip it on. See what we got. See what we got. And then, because I, I have a feeling it's just going to work. Um, there's one yeah. problem. Where to shove it? So you're going to need to tell it to do something. Or is it going to show up here? It should. Look at my phone. It says I'm connected. So turn on music. That's what I'm thinking. It's supposed to be on disc. Okay, now do that. It worked. We just took it a second. Yeah. Now look, the funny thing is here, when I hit DVD, it goes back to the changer. So it means you can use either one, I think. Cause, and I didn't know that. So like, right, like right now I'm trying to do that. It's trying to do the CDs. When I hit disc again, it switches over to Bluetooth. To Bluetooth. And unfortunately, it doesn't show you anything interesting up here. Let's shut this back off. We're good to go. We're not going to screw with it. We're going to find a place to mount this guy. thinking I might be able to get this like sort of right over oh yeah look you see it up there I do I do I do I do hold on wait don't worry about that it's just the airbag plug 
Right. So you want to go straight down? Yeah, I think we'll find a place to we'll find a place to do it back behind the glove box somewhere. As long as you have that wire back behind there. And then what I'll do here, what's happened is it's binding up right on here. On all this stuff, when it gets in here, it binds up on that wire and then it starts pulling on everything. And it pulls the plug back out. I think we're good now because I have it routed down like this, so it's not going to hit this metal. So, basically, I'm shoving all the plugs. I routed them to shove them back up in here so that the radio can sit in. And then we also, we routed the wire back around this vent down through here behind the dashboard and we're gonna find a place to hook it up right behind the dashboard. Pretty good? Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure that's that's snug. Feel, feel the best yet. It's a little snug. So I'm hurt, sure this is hard to see on the video, but this wire for the BT, there was just no room for this thing. There wasn't even room for the wires. So we tucked the wires in between the main nav unit and the tape unit we tucked all the plugs in there and then this wire kept getting bound up on this frame so we had to route the black wire up down around the bottom of this air duct back into here and it's coming back out over here so now we're just going to put this back together and then we're going to figure out where we want to mount the actual bt up in here which just about anywhere will be fine so that's next. what you're saying. <laughs> you're probably right. <laughs> In my haste to putting this thing back together, I didn't get any video of me finding a place to tuck the Bluetooth receiver, the BT-45. Um, but basically, it's right behind the glove box. Um, tucked in between a couple components back in there. There was a nice spot for it and I didn't even uh, really need to tape it. Um, I, I could just for stability but it wasn't really necessary and the wires coiled up under there and it's a nice nice tight fit and uh, it doesn't interfere with anything and I've been using it now for, for a few weeks and it's been working great.